Hey guys, John here. Welcome to the first video of how to use Hive 2. In this video, we're going to talk about why we'd want to use this synthesizer over a lot of the other soft synths out there and a brief tour of the synthesizer itself. So let's go to a new preset as well. And as we should always ask ourselves why we want to use Hive 2. So one of the biggest selling points for me was the low CPU cost. If you have a lot of stuff going on in your session and there's some synthesizers out there that take a lot of processing power, this is not going to be one of them. So you can use a lot of instances, have really great, great sound, and it's going to be smooth. So speaking of great sound, this is a UEHI synth, so you know that it's going to be sounding good as all their synthesizers do. Another selling point I really liked is how fast it is to dial something up because for the most part everything's kind of on this front page of what we see. We have some different pages as far as the hexagon goes and maybe some matrix down over here. But for the most part, everything's kind of right in front of you, so it's really quick to dial things up. You're not going to be bogged down in a lot of different menus and submenus and things like that. We have a really nice built-in ARP and sequencer here, which we're going to dive in, into a later video. But uh, just so you know, it's a very, very nice and easy to program, and you can get really cool results from that. We also have really nice built-in effects here. We just toggle these on or off, depending on which ones we, we want to use. And we can always reorder these. So if we want our delay to happen before the reverb, we just grab this and move it up here. And then we know that the processing is going to be from top down. So depending on how we order these, that's going to be how it's going to be processed. So up here at the top here where it says synth engine, we have clean, normal, and dirty. So we're going to dive into that a little bit later, but it's kind of nice because you can have a whole different characteristic of your patch or the sound that you're making. And we can change this to what does it sound like on clean mode? What does it sound like on normal mode and dirty mode and so on and so forth? So in a way, you're kind of getting three synths in one because it does change your sound pretty dramatically as you can always have your stuff already set up, right? You can have your patch already done and then just switch over these modes and kind of see how it sounds. You might build it in normal, but then you might decide that you like it better in clean or dirty. It really depends on uh, the style of whatever it is you're making. So that's a very cool selling point over there. So we have two oscillators, oscillator one here on the left, oscillator two here on the right, two sub oscillators also here on the left and to the right. And then we have two filters down over here on the left and the right as well. So it's a very symmetrical looking thing, which is kind of pleasing to the eyes I find. I think that's actually pretty cool. Then we have two amp mod or amp envelopes here, one on the left and then one on the right. And then some of these mod envelopes over here, which is really cool, these mod envelopes, right? So let's say we have a saw wave. We drop down our cutoff here. Let's turn off our reverb. So we want to modulate something real quick, right? So what's nice, we have this mod envelope now. We can just turn this to the right, and it's already attached to the cutoff here. And we can change this mod here. So that's one of the things that's really quick. If we want to add an LFO, we just turn this as well. We can disable our mod envelope real quick. And we see the envelope or the LFO is already attached to the cutoff, which is really quick here. You just turn a knob and it's already assigned. Speaking of which, we have two LFOs here on the left and on the right as well. And the same thing goes for the second side over here, right? So we have the mod envelope here, the LFO, and so on and so forth, which is really nice as well. And then we have function generators, which can be a little bit complicated, but uh, once we get to those in this course, it's going to clear a lot of things up. So you have a lot of extra stuff there to deal with. And then we have these shape generators. So we have shape A, B, C, and D, which is really cool, which deals with in the shape generator, right? So if we went to an init preset and let's say we have shape A to modulate the cutoff. So let's bring this down and give it some amount here. It's going to be going back and forth between these two here, which is these two saw waves. And then let's say we can add three and four. So it's going to go one, two, three, four. And then each one, we can add some interesting little shapes like that. And then maybe three, we can scroll up a little bit and kind of have a different time, something like that. And then we can change the segment shape and the curve and all that. Yeah, so there's a lot of cool stuff you can play with here. We're going to dive deep into these shapes here. You can do a lot of cool stuff with those as well. So back to a new preset here. We have some voice modes. We have poly, mono, legato, and duo. We have 16 max voice polyphony, which is also really nice as well. And then down here for modulation, we have 12 slots here of modulation in our matrix A and matrix B. So on the surface, it looks kind of simplistic, which is kind of the concept, kind of the, the intent of the synthesizer. But the more you get under the hood, the more you can realize like, wow, this actually does get pretty intense there as well. And then we have our XY down over here, XY one, two, three, and four, which even gets even more in depth as far as modulation goes. 
So yeah, it's a lot of cool stuff here. And also what's really, really sweet is we have a built-in scope, right? And this is not just for audio. We can get our LFO and kind of bring it over here and kind of see exactly what the LFO is doing. We can slow it down drastically, maybe change the shape to a sign, and we can start seeing that reflected here on the scope. So if there's any type of modulation that you kind of want to see what exactly it's doing, you can always drag it in here. And then we see our waveforms as well, which is really, really nice. And one of the last things before we let you go here, one thing that's really cool about the effects section in here is also the FX preset where you can pretty much save presets here if you'd like to or load some certain stuff up. So let's say like Chugger, for example, you have all these settings here to start out with. which we basically have presets built into the synthesizer. And that doesn't go just for the effects, that also goes for the oscillator. So we have oscillator one, these little triangles here. We can go to, let's say like fat bottle. So we have an oscillator preset and then under the filter here, we have different filter presets. So like shimmer. Pretty sweet as well. Same for the envelopes down over here for the LFOs. So it just kind of goes to show that wherever you see this little drop down triangle here, you can load and you can save different types of presets, which is actually really, really, really cool. And yeah, then we have our preset browser, which we're going to get into a, at a later point here. But it's kind of similar to all, a lot of the other UHE stuff here where, you know, the stuff's on the left hand side for folders and presets that you can pick from and descriptions and so on and so forth. So yeah, it's a very, very cool synthesizer. If you don't have it, I highly suggest trying out the demo to see if you like it and getting it if you do because it's a really really good one to have in your workflow and it always sounds great as well so yeah so that's kind of the basics here for for hive in the next couple of videos and through the course we're going to dive into every single module as we normally do and kind of leave no stone unturned so to speak so yeah thank you for watching and we will see you in the next video